Well, here we are. Another bike rebuild, just starting out. So this is a CBR125 or CP125R, the kind of naked cafe racer design. So it's got really nice um, design, this bike. So it's got big upside down forks, radial brakes, big wheels. Uh, it's a super cool bike. I can't wait to get it back on the road. And this bike has been stolen and recovered. So I got this from an insurance auction and uh, it just needs a complete rebuild so the guys whoever had it have battered it and you know just crashed it smashed it up so i'm gonna have to just go through the bike back to front changing out anything that's no good and um it'll be quite a cool video so stick around and we'll see how we go the bike is uh, rapidly turning into a problem so i have to strip out the battery and um, a few plastics here the bike isn't sparking so whenever you get a bike like this the first thing before you start doing any work on it is just to check that the engine sparks and you know the spark plug is sparking and then the, the engine runs right if the engine doesn't run don't rebuild the bike until you've got that sorted first so uh, i'm gonna have to just go through and troubleshoot and it is a problem i think it might just be this these three wires are cut this bike was stolen, recovered and battered. So it could just be those three, but I'm going to have to do a lot of work to try and get to the root of the problem. I've replaced uh, my wiring that was cut. So here's the old connector. It's a six block connector piece and I've just done it the easy way. And I've just connected all of these with um, bullet point connectors. Well, I've been through and changed my bullet connectors and that has actually fixed the problem. So coming around this side, um, I've just done it off camera, but I um, made sure that the spark is now working, so that's fine. So my next trick, and uh, now I've got a spark, I need to make sure this engine runs. So I'm gonna take a shortcut. We don't know what state the carburetors and stuff are in and the fuel injectors and all that. So just to help the bike get going, I always um, just put some petrol into the engine and there's nothing wrong with that. And it just gives it a jump start. I've put a load of fresh petrol into the engine and the bike is on. So let's see if it will fire, let's go. sound good to be honest so I've put petrol right into the airbox okay well I've uh, put up my testing kit together so let's see what happens okay so we are up to about 100 I need to Google what pressure it should be, but I think it should be higher than that. So let's see. And boom, the bike is running. So it turns out the reason it didn't start, I'll leave it running right now because um, it needs to go through, but there's a wire cut under there. You can see there was a wire cut to the fuel pump and it was just stopping it pumping out fuel properly. So once I connected that up and I primed the um, engine, these modern engines are really sensitive. You can't just throw in petrol down them and think they'll run because they just won't run without the injector. So um, that is looking good now. So it's got old engine oil. I just put in old engine oil because I didn't want to use good stuff and I'll pump it through, run it up a little bit and then change the oil and then go from there. Welcome back to my video. Um, it's a few days later. I'm going to continue work on this. This is a Honda CB125R. Um, all the panels are basically off and my task now is to rebuild it. So I'm just going to give it a quick wash and then I'm just going to start attaching parts back on. Work continues and I've just put in this battery box, which you can see that was a nightmare to get in. If you ever work on one of these bikes, do not remove that. I had removed it because all these wires were cut, so I had to join them back up, um, but they're done. So next step is I'm just going to put this battery in. So I've got battery here hopefully I can make it work I think it just goes like that and then I'm gonna put the tank on and I'm just gonna build the back uh, section up so the petrol tank is now on and next next thing will be just to put these rear panels on the next job is just to clean up this filter and um, these obviously get caked up with dirt and stuff so 
good practice while you've got the back apart. What I do is just take this off and I'll hoover this out and just give it a clean. This I will put into a bath of petrol and just remove all the oil and stuff in there and that'll be good to go. So the airbox is back on, bike is now coming back together and next thing is of course to wash it. So when the bike's at the like most stripped down, it's the best time to wash it. Obviously, I don't want to get water in the electrics and stuff, but I am going to take a good bit of time and just go around and wash this bike to just get it to the best it can be as I put it back together. So that's next. Just looking at this back mud guard. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but for some reason it's got a lot of damage like it's like tarmac has kind of melted onto it and it's just in rough shape so i have got another one so i'm going to switch those out and it's just a case of undoing these two bolts and one on the other side and just replacing it and then when i've got this off i'll also wash the shock and the other bits behind there the next thing i'll be putting on is this rear section with the rear light and the under tray so it just bolts onto the frame and then this section down here, which is like the rear hanger for the number plate and stuff that goes on next. So I'll put those on now. Well, my next challenge is these exhausts, um, they go, the steel exhausts, and they go directly into the cylinder head. And the problem is, is they rust in there and they get stuck and it is very difficult to get them out. So um i've got a real problem with this one it won't come out and the trouble is normally i could just respray this exhaust in place leave it alone trouble is under there it's rusted out and so it's tricky because it won't come out but it's no good as well so it needs to be changed or alternatively i could just try and weld it under there but that's just a recipe for disaster and be very difficult to do a good weld under there so i'm gonna to have to try and get this thing apart so what i've been doing so far is just getting this and you sort of stick it up inside there and then you give it a good smack and just try and get it loose but it's not worked so far so i'm going to carry on and see if i can get this thing sorted out so i've got the exhaust off and it took a lot of effort. I had to get an assistant to push down on the middle part of the exhaust. And at the same time, I got my hammer and smacked it really hard. Anyway, so that's done. But the part that was rusted out underneath still needs to come off. So I'm gonna use my most trustworthy tool and I'm just gonna have a go and we'll see. So watch your ears and let's have a go. Okay, so while I've got the exhaust off, I might as well give it a paint anyway, just to make it look better and more importantly, make it uh, live a, look, a bit longer. So you just need some rattle can paint. Before you put it on, give it a really good rattle. Sand the exhaust down with some sandpaper and that's to, you can see there, just rough up the edge a bit so that the paint will stick to it and remove any dirt and stuff. You should really clean it with white spirit, but I haven't bothered because bothered um so yeah here we go let's have a let's have a look so there you go simple as that just give it a coat of paint let's try this bit coming around from the other side i better put the camera down because i'll do a better job without it but you get the idea while the exhaust is off, give it a freshen up. We are getting there slowly. So exhaust is now back on. There it is. And the tank is on. Um, so pretty much good. The bike has got good bones now, which is nice. I've changed out the front wheel and the, uh, the front mud guard. So front wheel now has a, a good tire on it. So that's good. Um, I did see it needs a new brake pad. So I'll do that a bit later on. But yeah, here it is. So next thing is going to be to put the tank on. 